Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers living worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hope for elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah. Uh, this is a breaking news story that uh, aired on NBC Nightly News last night about the Southern Baptist Convention leaders, right? And how they mishandled or covered up abuse, okay? And, you, you know, you've seen this with the Catholic Church, right? And, and countless others. But this is that fornicator. This is Esau Edom, the so-called white man, all right? Let's play the video. Hannah Kate Williams wanted when she and others asked the Southern Baptist Convention for a third party investigation of sexual abuse. Do you feel vindicated by the report? In a lot of ways, yes. She is suing the SBC for failing to take action against her father, who she says sexually abused her starting at age eight as he studied to become a pastor. I was met with, well, you're an enemy of God. It was threats, harassment. I had to move my from my home. The lengthy report details how survivors like Williams encountered resistance, stonewalling, and even outright hostility from some in SBC leadership starting in 2000. One leader claiming it is a satanic scheme to completely distract us from evangelism. Yet investigators found one staffer compiled a secret list of accused abusers with hundreds of names. What does this do to the reputation of Southern Baptists? You know, for a group that talks a lot about sexual morality, talks a lot about men protecting women and children, I think that this uh, is obviously a very bad look and it, mm. it is clear hypocrisy. SBC mm. president... A very bad look and clear hypocrisy. He saw even so called white man. And see, the Lord is, is, is putting this nigga on full display. All right? On full display. And if you doubt, you know, you're just going to die, man. Ed Litton says Southern Baptists must resolve to change our culture and implement desperately needed reform. Hold up. He said, change our culture. So if it is your culture to sexually harass children, it's your culture. Yeah, that's, that's right. You can't change who you are. The Lord made you who you are, right? What's that, uh, Jeremiah 13, 23? Yeah, you, the, the, you know. Forms. The report recommends creating and maintaining an offender information system, providing a resource toolbox with protocols and training, and making a sincere apology to survivors. Healing won't come easy. Popular evangelist Beth Moore, who left the SBC last year, today tweeting, You have betrayed your women. It's too late to make... And that's going off. Evangelist Beth Moore. The hell out of here. It right with me, it's not too late to make it right with them. Ann Thompson, NBC News. You see, you get the precepts. It, it, hey, man, you can't see who this damn devil is. Something wrong with you, you know? Those, those, uh, certain Israelites who, who say Esau's the heir, man, you lost your damn mind. End time prophecy tell you that we'd be the hands of Esau. This is Hebrews chapter 12 and uh, verse 16. It says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Yeah, man. This nigga is a, a, a fornicator, a profane person, which means what? Outside the temple. All right. You have no hope of, of ever making it to the kingdom, man, because why your culture that's your culture you can't change your culture man that's who you are esau right let's get that word fornicator and something been going on with the blue letter today where uh it's showing some kind of crazy box hebrews uh that 12 and 16 
All right. Any fornicator. Strong's G. 4205. It says to sell akin to the base of G4097. It says a male prostitute as Vanara. What is Vanara? Let's look that up. Let's see. What is Vanara? Vino. Vino. It says showing or motivated by susceptibility to bribery. Let's look at this word susceptibility. It says to bribery too. Right? You pay Esau as up. A nigga take a bribe. A nigga, he's just a scoundrel. Susceptibility. It says the state or fact of being likely or liable to be influenced or harmed by a particular thing. So Esau is susceptible to being a fucking weirdo, man. All right? A flaming mo. Right? Why? Because that's the way the Lord made him. Okay? Let's go back to Hebrews chapter 12. In verse 7, well, let's read 16 again. It says, Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Yeah, let's go back to that, that word fornicator. All right. And Esau sold his birthright, man. You see? Let's go back into that definition. It says, that is, by analogy, a debauchy. Let's, let's get that word debauchy. 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 It says, a person given to excess indulgence in sensual pleasures. Look at that shit, man. This nigga can't control. There ain't no discipline. They got to they gotta touch their daughters, man. <sighs> See, yeah, if you don't know who the hell Esau is, something wrong with you. The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Right? It says, for you, verse 17, for ye know that afterward, when he, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Right? It says, for he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. That's right, man. No place of repentance. All right, cause you 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 that you that goddamn pedophile, man. You know, you know you you have laws where you can sleep with animals. You know you got uh you no longer have uh he she, right? Now you got they we, them pronouns, man. This shit crazy, but it's all under the watch of a uh, 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 right? Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 and it's like verse 8 let's, let's, let's start at the top it says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered that's right All right. when, when it, uh, the Lord put the Israelites back in power he sent his son back the, the government is going to be well ordered man all right? It's going to be in harmony with the scriptures. It's going to be forever a perpetual kingdom. Right? And the contrast, verse 2, it says, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So that's why you see it at the Catholic Church. Right? You see it at the Protestant who who uh claim to uphold celibacy and all that type stuff, you know? You heard what she said. They said it's a shame, you know? The Lord revealing these these fucking weirdos, man. Ephesians chapter five and 
recently started verse 5 it says for this ye know that no no whoremonger nor unclean person nor covetous man who is an idolater have any place excuse me have any inheritance in the kingdom of Hamashiach and of the Most High, yeah, you have no inheritance. All right, you, you, your inheritance is going to be slavery. All right, it says, "Nor covetous man, Esau, idolater, Esau, whoremonger, Esau." All right, let no man, verse six, let no man deceive you with vain words. Yeah, Esau say, "Thou shalt surely not die. Do as thou wilt." All right, YOLO, live it up. Live your best life. That's what this devil promotes, and it's all vain. Because you're going to die. It says, For because of these things come of the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. Yeah, they're, they're uh, tailor made, they're fitted for destruction. It says, Be not ye therefore partakers with him. That's right, man. Don't be like these damn devils. Don't be like two thirds, all right? Because they are partakers with who? Esau Edom. Right? Or oh, we just read that. The, as the judge is, so is the his officers. Right? It says, For ye were sometimes darkness. Yeah, we was slacky. Like, yeah, we, we was in the world. Right? But now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Yeah, be renewed. In your mind, right? Not 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 that same person, right? Now I may wanna Yeah, let's continue to read. It says For the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Yeah, you 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 truly are showing that uh you love your house, all right, by believing in in you know the doctrine. All right, and, and actually feeding the sheep if you're a teacher, right? It says, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Yeah, proving it. All right, uh, faith, faith without works is dead. It says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Yeah, and that's what you see in there. Well, prove you damn devil, man. Showing forth your wickedness. You know, you fucking, you, you. Here, verse 12, for it is a shame even to speak. Yeah, see? For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret, man. And now that shit coming to light. What is that? Uh, Luke, let's get that. Luke, all your shit coming up, man. All your ill dealings. Ain't, ain't no stone being left unturned. Say so Luke 12. Mm. Yep. This is the book of Luke. Chapter 12. And verse 2. Words of our Lord you have a shot. It says. Yeah. We'll do it like that. It says. For there is nothing covered. That shall not be revealed, neither hid. That shall not be known. See that? Oh, your your wickedness is coming up. You, you can't hide yourself. All right, that, that, that's the uh, the proper order. You you uh, your wickedness being revealed. All right, or uh, uh, let's see, like like the apostles. All right, say you know, you're <coughs> it's like you. you're um. You're being questioned. All the evidence is being presented, right? This is Leviticus chapter 20. And he, 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 he clean contrary to the scriptures, man. Let's see when to start. Let's start at verse 10. It says, And the man 
that commit of adultery with another man's wife, even he that commit of adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. Yeah, both of them need to goddamn go. Okay? It says, and that's righteous, man. We put away evil from Israel, man. Verse 11. And the man that lieth with his father's wife have uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. You know what? Esau is guilty of all this shit. It's like all, all this. The shit that they do. It's like it. It says... And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. If any man also lie with mankind, as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Yeah, man. Their blood gonna be upon them. Now, let's see. I want to jump down. This, this, this devil touched his daughter, man. You know what? Let's continue to read. All right. It says, And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. See that? See? It says, If a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death. And ye shall slay the beast. And Esau is guilty of all of this. It says, And if a woman approach unto any beast, lie down thereto, thou shalt kill the woman, and the beast, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing. They shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He have uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his iniquity. Uh, I'm trying to get to the point. There's a law. You're, you're being a law. Um, sister. Man, I took his brother's wife. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Like it. I don't want to make this too long. It's probably too long already. Yeah, we're at 19, 20 minutes. You know what? We're, we're going. We know that shit wicked. All right. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't touching on your, on your on your daughter, man. Fucking devils. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right? Esau, you the so-called white man. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, 
nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. So you got damn devils being revealed in your time. Guess what? You ain't got no hope, man. You ain't you ain't gonna be uh, on top of the kingdom. You gonna be a, you gonna be a slave, all right? Whether you want to or not. And that's the gospel. That's the good news. Vocab, Hocab Malone. All right, let's get the ready to wrap this up. Yeah, Second Thessalonians, right, chapter two, and hmm. verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Yeah, we fell away from our heritage, right? So much so in this captivity, we didn't even know who we were, man. The Lord did them. A mighty work waking us up, right? You know, through the spirit of power you have by Shah Shah, and he sent out men. All right. And and those who heard the gospel, it was it was it was uh in you from the beginning, and we pray we didn't do it to the end, right? It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition who opposed us and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he asked the Most High, set up in a temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. And this is what, that's what this devil has done. All right? By his iconoclasm, all right, his movies, all right, his propaganda. All right? He's trying to show himself as the Most High. And that's a finch. All right? That's how you know this devil was clean contrary to your by Shah Shah. Okay, it says, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now ye know what withholding that he might be revealed in his time and everything about your wicked deeds, your unrighteous decrees are being revealed, man. Right. For the mystery of iniquity do have already work. Only he who now let up will let. Yeah, yeah, how about you? All right, he, he's letting this devil go on with his plan because it's, it's, it's almost to a close, man. All right? And the, and when the curtain call comes, guess what? Ain't nothing he can do. He can't go past one second. It says, until he be taken out of the way that's right. It says, and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's the chronological order. Is that what's being revealed right now? We ain't quit. We present all type of evidence. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Lord willing, coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time I say shalom.